Hey Binanceians, I'm Emma Hill from Binance. Welcome back to our Bitcoin 101 video series. In this fourth video, we'll focus on sending and receiving Bitcoin, walking you through the process and highlighting some important tips to ensure smooth transactions. To send or receive Bitcoin, you'll need a wallet with a unique Bitcoin address. This address is a string of alphanumeric characters that functions like a bank account number. It's also represented as a QR code, which can be scanned for easier transactions. When you want to send Bitcoin, you'll enter the recipient's Bitcoin address or scan their QR code in your wallet app. You'll then specify the amount you want to send and confirm the transaction. Keep in mind, there may be a small transaction fee, which goes to the miners for processing the transaction. Receiving Bitcoin is just are simple. You'll provide your Bitcoin address or QR code to the sender and they'll complete the transaction from their wallet. Once the transaction is confirmed on the blockchain, you'll see the funds appear in your wallet. It's important to note that settlement of Bitcoin transactions are not instant. They need to be confirmed by miners and added to the blockchain. Depending on network congestion and the transaction fee you pay, this process can take anywhere from a few minutes to several hours. This might seem like a slow network, but actually compared to the final settlement of fiat rails, like credit and debit cards, Bitcoin is very quick. Before sending Bitcoin, always double check the recipient's address to make sure it's correct. Bitcoin transactions are irreversible. So if you send funds to the wrong address, there's no way to retrieve them. It's also a good idea to start with a small test transaction to ensure everything is working correctly. To protect your Bitcoin, always back up your wallet and consider enabling additional security measures like encryption and two-factor authentication. This will help safeguard your funds in case your device is lost, stolen or compromised. And that's how you send and receive Bitcoin. By following these steps and practicing good security habits, you can confidently and securely transact with Bitcoin. In our next video, we'll discuss Bitcoin as an investment and compare it to traditional investments like stocks, bonds and real estate. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more informative videos on Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies. See you in the next video.